Hey there, Henry. Let's take a look at the set of essays, international and domestic travel. Let's see what you said. People throughout both the developing and developed world have debated whether traveling has more benefits than its drawbacks. This essay will discuss both advantages and disadvantages of traveling using examples from Harvard and Sydney University to demonstrate points and improve arguments. Fine. To begin with, discovering new places helps travelers not only to experience different cultures, but also to escape from current issues in their lives. The central reason behind, let me see if I understand this sentence. The central reason behind people opt to travel is a sense of adventure such as meaning. All right, th that doesn't really quite work here. I don't know, there's something missing, although I'm not really sure what it is. The central reason behind why people opt to travel, maybe? The central reason behind why people opt to travel is a sense of adventure, uh, such as meeting new people and enjoying unique cuisines. But sense of you, but meeting new people and enjoying unique cuisines is that really an example of a sense of adventure? So again, there's something missing with this sentence. It's just not completely coherent. Uh, the central reason behind why people opt to travel is they have a sense of adventure and a desire to meet new people and enjoy unique cuisines. Maybe that would work a little better. What do you think? Another reason, not of, but to visit new places. Ah, okay. Another reason why visiting new places is beneficial is that it provides an opportunity to relax and relieve stress without the plural. For example, an extensive research by Harvard University showed that people who travel more than once a year have a higher level of happiness than those who do not travel at all. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that people benefit no S from journeys considerably fine. Okay, however, traveling requires a significant amount of money and planning in advance to enjoy the trips. Travelers S should have enough budget in order to have, no, not indelible impression. You don't have an indelible impression. Something creates an indelible impression. So this is the wrong expression here. Um, so travelers should have enough budget in order to, um, I'm not really sure what would have worked here. You're really trying to say to have a memorable experience about new places, uh, which could be costly. The big expenses might be transport, singular accommodation, food, and tickets for entry to iconic landscapes. All right. It's not iconic landscapes, really. It's Ticket, uh, I don't know about this, to iconic locations, like, like uh, iconic, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, landmarks, um, tickets to, and, and tickets for entry to iconic, uh, yeah, sites, really. Furthermore, prior to commencing ING, a journey, extensive research, no Anne, about the destination should be conducted, which is time consuming and also frustrating when there is not enough information about the place. For instance, recent research by Sydney University demonstrated the amount of time and money that are required to travel are the two main factors that make people to decide not to go on a trip not for. Thus, it is possible to state that most journeys are expensive and require extensive research. Okay, that's those are the drawbacks of traveling. Um, money and the, the fact that you need to look into things okay fair enough fine um you back them up so it's fine uh from argument examples given it is clear that traveling has both benefits and drawbacks people benefit no s from traveling through new experience and relaxation however you can't use although like this although shouldn't have a comma here ah okay so let's try it differently although it could be costly and demands a lot of pre what is going on here okay yeah so you do need however however it could be costly and demands a lot of pre-planning full stop fine it is predicted that traveling will grow increasingly in importance so yeah this is the wrong word here all right so henry it's not a perfect essay it does have some problems um grammar and vocabulary had some issues your ideas were fine um you did support them so things like um Task achievement were controlled, but there were some places that were a little incoherent, like I wasn't really sure what you're trying to say. Could be because the vocabulary was off, could just be, um, you know, some uh, issues with, you know, your, your um, language level. But there were some areas that I definitely wanted to see um, revised a little, okay? 
Let's take a look now at your letter to your friend. All right, now remember that when you get the um, exam paper, it's going to say, um, start your letter, and usually it says, dear, dot, dot, dot. So you'll probably never see hello as an okay opening, all right? So it should probably say, dear John, I hope you and your family are fine. It's been a while since we went to the conference together. As I mentioned, to you during that time. I have quit my marketing officer job last week. All right, that doesn't make sense. In other words, it's just not coherent because look at what's happening. You said it's been a while since we were at the conference. When we were at the conference, I told you that I quit my job last week. So that doesn't make sense because apparently this conference was a while ago. So your time markers, um, don't work with what you're saying, okay? Um, so maybe we can fix it together, all right? So it's been a while since we went to the conference together. As I mentioned to you during that time, I was considering quitting my job, and in fact, I quit it just last week. Now that would make sense. Um, I think I made a good decision because the new marketing director was an unapproachable person. When it comes to finding a creative idea, he never encourages us to use new technologies, which is an unavoidable thing in this modern world. That's why I handed over my resignation letter to him last week. Okay, fine. Careful with your spelling, this is wrong. Fortunately, I received a job marker. No, I received a job offer as a marketing manager, not an, a marketing manager from a startup company. I'm so grateful that I have this job because I'm the main person who makes decisions, okay, plural, about any marketing activities. The only drawback about um, of this job is that I have to commute one hour every day to get to, to my job, not my work. I'm also excited to tell you that we are planning to go to New Zealand for this Christmas. New Zealand was on our bucket list for many years, and finally we decided to do the journey this year. What is your plan for this Christmas? We will be more than happy if you join us. I hope I will hear from you soon. Best regards. Okay, um, it's fine. A uh, lot of grammar things, little grammar things like missing articles, um, yeah, primarily that. And then, of course, this bit of incoherence didn't really make sense. Um, those were the things that were happening um, in the in this letter. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of little grammatical things, like missing articles, okay? So be careful about some of those things. Now, the reason why I, um, I address them, and I really want you to be careful about them, is that those are considered basic grammatical... Um, basic grammatical structures. It's it's part of basic grammar. So you don't want to make a lot of mistakes with basic grammar. It's one thing if you make mistakes on advanced grammar, um, that, that could, um, how can I say this? The examiners are kind of a little more lenient with that sort of thing. But if you're making gram uh, consistent grammar mistakes with basic grammar, then it's kind of a problem. So I want you to be careful. The good news is, is that your grammar mistakes didn't lead to incoherence, okay? Um, but I still want you to be aware of them and I want you to be a little careful, okay? All right, so go ahead and correct these essays. Let's see another set from you. I'm looking forward to them. Good luck.